Hi, it's Mike Panja, and today we're going to make a pumpkin pie from scratch. I have to use up my uh, Halloween pumpkin decoration, so I thought it would be best and a good time to make a pumpkin pie getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm going to briefly show you what to do with the pumpkin seeds. They're nutritious, they're healthful, they're good for you, they're free, they're inside this pumpkin that you are otherwise going to dump. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm working today with a rather large pumpkin. If you're going to buy a pumpkin, especially for this project to make a pumpkin pie, you can get one about a quarter of this size, about this big, about an eight or 10 inch diameter would be fine. First thing we do is we want to cut the top off. So we'll cut around the stem. Uh, it's easiest if you use a serrated knife, a steak knife, that way you can use it like a saw and cut through. Here's what you're going to find inside. You've got all these stringy fibers and the seeds. Of course, there's seeds and fibers sticking to the top you cut off also. Now we'll scoop out all of that fiber and seeds you can use your hands to get a bunch of it, have a big bowl ready. Now we're going to pick off as much of the fiber as we can. You don't have to get it all, but get most of it. Meanwhile, you can preheat your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 Celsius. Now I'm going to microwave the seeds for about 25 seconds just to dry the surface a little bit. Prepare a baking sheet by lining it with aluminum foil and spraying it with an oven spray. Salted Worcestershire sauce is an excellent seasoning for these pumpkin seeds. Now we pour the seasoning, sprinkle it over the seeds mix them up a little bit so they're all coated spread them out in a single layer on our baking sheet and into our preheated oven for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, raise the temperature to 425 Fahrenheit and flip the seeds. I've cut my giant pumpkin down to a manageable size and filled the microwave turning platter with water. I'm microwaving this large pumpkin for 30 minutes to make it tender. You won't need as much time for a smaller pumpkin, obviously. Now that our pumpkin has been miked and cooled, we should scrape the flesh from the skin, collect it up. I'm using a colander to drain the excess water. Now that it's drained somewhat, we want to mash it. I'm using a potato masher, it works pretty well. Time to roll out the pie dough. Uh, to make pie dough, to review it, you'll go back to my video, Mom's Apple Pie, and you'll get a complete tutorial on an excellent pie dough from scratch. Buttery, flaky, it's really good. You know, many cookbooks and recipes claim that you don't have to grease your pie pan because the fats in the crust will already take care of it. 
I found that sometimes that doesn't work and I think it's safer to spray it lightly before we put the crust into it. Put a few slits in the bottom of the crust to allow the steam to escape. Put your crust in the refrigerator until the filling is ready. Now for the filling. I want to measure out 450 grams. That's one and three quarters cups. Here's what goes into my pumpkin pie filling. everything into the blender. Now we fill the crust. And it's into the 450 degree oven they go for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, lower the temperature to 350 Fahrenheit. And I am going to use a pie crust guard, a silicone pie crust guard to protect the crust, keep it from overcooking. Give it another 50 minutes at the lower temperature. After about 50 minutes, I'm going to check for doneness of the filling by probing it with a knife. Uh, it's fairly clean. I'm going to give it another five minutes. Well, we've done it again. We've made a spectacular pumpkin pie. I've enjoyed featuring this recipe with you and making it with you, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it too. Do I have to remind you that you should share this video with your friends and family, anyone you know that's interested in cooking and food and videos? Hit the share button. Well, it's been fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.